In this video, we'll be going over the bottom-up 2D approach of stone game. Let's go over the dot process. So in the 3D bottom-up approach, in each of the iteration, we are only relying on values from the x-axis, i and i plus 1. This means we can create a 2D matrix to replace our 3D matrix then in each of the iteration we will be replacing the values at the previous iteration now let's go over the pseudocode so we're going to create a 2D matrix score and then the rows will represent J and the columns will represent P we're still going to create a variable n, which will be the length of the input array. Then we'll iterate through m n to n minus one to zero, which is the current left boundaries. We can iterate through the right boundaries, and then we're going to create a variable here, prev, to keep track of the previous value before we have replaced it. It will initially be zero. Then we'll iterate through the players one to zero where zero is go to Alex and Lee, one is go to Lee. If I is greater than J, this means there are no more stones left and there's a default score of zero. So we can just continue to the next iteration. If I is go to J, we want to save the current value first. So I want to set brief to score the current cell, the, the score at the current cell. Then if P is go to zero, is currently Alex's turn, and Alex sets adds positive values to the score. So I want to set score to positive piles. Else is Lee's turn, and the stones that Lee get will contribute negative values to the score. So we're going to set the current cell to negative piles i. Then we can continue the next iteration. Then we're going to create a variable current to keep track of the current value before we have replaced it. Now, if P is equal to zero, it's currently Alex's turn. We want to set the score to the larger value between Alex picking from the left side and picking from the right side. Now, in this case, he's picking from the left side currently, and we're currently retrieving a value from the x-axis, i plus one. This means it's from the previous iteration, and the player is go to one. And we're iterating from one to zero at this point, right? And we're currently P is equal to zero. This means we have already replaced the value at this current cell. So we want to retrieve the previous value before we, we have replaced it. So it's go to prev plus pass i. And the second case is taking from the right side. And in this case, the i axis uh, or the x axis is currently at the current x axis. It's at the current x axis. So we can just delete it. Else is currently least turn, which P is equal to one. Let's write it down. P is equal to one. Now I want to set the score to the smaller value between Alex picking from the left side uh, or Lee picking from the left side and picking from the right side. So if we pick from the left side, we have X axis I plus one. This means that the previous iteration, but we're currently P is equal to one. This means we have yet to replace the value of this cell because we're iterating from one to zero. In this case, one to zero. And we're currently at one. This means we have yet replaced the value at this cell yet. So we can just delete this and it'll be fine. And the second one is picking from the right side and we have at the current X axis. So we can just delete this. Now I want to set previous to current, which is the the previous value before we have replaced it. Now we return true if the score n minus one to zero is greater than zero. This means Alex has one if it's a positive score. Now is the now score n minus one zero is the score of the current left and right boundary. So the current left boundary will, will be zero in this case, and the right boundary will be n minus one and Alex starting first. Now what's the time and space complexity? For the time complexity we get n times two. So it's, it's go to n. And 
This is the nested for loops. And our space complexity we get is our 2D matrix, n times 2. So is our score matrix. Now let, let's go over the code. So we will, we will create a variable n to keep track of the length of the input array. And then we're going to create a 2D matrix score. We're going to iterate through the left boundaries, iterate through the right boundaries. And then we're going to create a variable previous to keep track of the previous value before we have replaced it. And then we're going to iterate through the players from 1 to 0. If i is greater than j, this means there are no more stones left and the default score will be equal to 0. So we can continue the next iteration. If i is equal to j, we want to save the previous value. We want to save the previous value first before we have replaced it. So which is the value at the current cell. Now we want to set the score. If p is equal to 0, this means it's currently Alex's turn and Alex contribute positive uh, values to the score. So we set positive piles, else we're going to set negative piles for Lee. Now, before we process this, we want to save the current value before we have replaced it. Now, if p is equal to zero, we want to set the score to the larger value between Alex picking from the left side and picking from the right side. And the first case we have at x axis i plus one, this means is at the previous iteration. And since our current player is equal to one, this means we have replaced the value we have replaced the value already because we went from one to zero and we're currently at zero. This means we have re already replaced it. So we want the previous value before we have replaced it. So we get prev plus pios i. And the second case is picking from the right side. In this case, we're currently at the current x axis. So again, we can just delete it. Now, else is currently Lee's turn and he, he wanted to pick the smaller value between picking from the left side and picking from the right side. So if you pick from the left side here, we're currently, it's at i plus one. This means it's at the previous iteration, but our p is equal to zero. Since our p currently is equal to one, this means we have yet replaced the value here yet because we're going from one to zero and we're currently at one. We have yet replaced this value. So we can just delete i plus one. And also in this case, we're in the current x axis. So we're gonna just delete it. Now I want to set previous to currents. We want to update the previous value. Then we want to return true if the score n minus one, zero is greater than zero. This means with the current left boundary, which is zero, right boundary n minus one, and the starting player zero, which is Alex. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.